What up, gang? Hey, this video is actually for Justin out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, Justin messaged me on Instagram and asked me if I could do a review on the Yamaha R1M with regards to the heat that it produces during the hot summer months. I'm gonna tell you something. Justin, in order for you to get your fan temps down, you're going to have to flash your ECU. My fans go on pretty darn early. I'm talking roughly at about 170 degrees. The fans are just blaring on this thing. Even in a stoplight when I'm sitting there for, for several minutes, my temperatures don't exceed about 190 to 195 max, at least for this particular bike here. My other, um, the Kawasaki gets a little hot. Um, that one gets about 200, 205 degrees but I have not broken 200 degrees on this one because of how we flashed the ECU and also the fan temps that were programmed into the actual um, flash. So for someone who rides in hot weather like you do, and I do, I live basically by the beach just like you, um, and work in high humidity, it's gonna be important that whoever's flashing your bike and whoever's creating the map for it and also the ECU flash is cognizant of that particular type of region that you live in and that they can go ahead and program the bike to actually uh, stay cooler in that hot and hot temperatures. I will tell you this though, that one thing that's really nice about these bikes, when it's warm, uh, especially on hotter days, these bikes perform so well. Um, I have noticed that horsepower wise, on the warm days that I've been riding this bike in particular, I'm getting a lot more horsepower out of the actual bike. Um, in comparison to the colder months when, you know, obviously it was rainy and cold, uh, anytime that it was dry on the streets, but the weather was obviously in the 40s or 50s, I tended to have less horsepower produced by the bike. But now that the temps are in the 80s, where I live right now, today it's 90 some odd degrees, uh, this bike performs like a dream. And I love riding it. I mean, Although it is a track bike and everything too, I do love riding my R1M. It's just so comfortable. But Justin, yeah, man, I wouldn't hesitate, bud, to buy the bike. I know that you've you got your thumb on one right now. He's got a $500 deposit, um, I think, at the at the Power Sports uh, company out there in St. Petersburg. But um, I wouldn't hesitate pulling the trigger on this one, my friend, especially if you have a good place that will help you to flash the bike or the ECU. And if not, I mean, you can always send it out to Chris Moore at Moore Mafia or, you know, Two Wheel Dino. Those guys do really good jobs too um, when you're sending your, your stuff in. Or you can get yourself a Power Commander um, and have it flashed on a, on a regular dyno uh, from some local shop out there. They can help you with that as well. But again, the ECU flash is going to determine your fan temps. And those fan temps, especially on the R1M, you can lower them quite significantly. Again, my fan temps go on right about 170 degrees and I really do not have any problems with overheating on this bike. And I've been caught in some lights where, because we have a lot of traffic here at the beach, obviously, where we may sit, you call it at a light for three to five minutes, you know, which is decently long on a, on a bike. And um, my Ducati, I know for a fact, the Panigale that I have in the garage, like this bike right over here, bud, this one is a torture fest. I mean, you want to talk about roasted nuts, man. The, the Panigale is a freaking hot bike. And um, hot looking, but also hot in temperature wise. This bike will sit for two seconds at a light and you're up over 200 and your balls are just freaking on fire. So I have taken all precautions, at least with this particular bike here, to make sure that the fan temps are set low. Uh, I was very lucky at KWS when I did the engine work on my bike and also all of the flash stuff. Mike, um, who was the pit crew chief down there, when he flashed the bike, he's like, hey man, I'm gonna really lower this thing down just the way when it warms up, uh, you're gonna be a-okay. And I have not had any problems. The, again, the, like I said, the horsepower on the bike is absolutely amazing in warm weather. And not, not only that, but also the sound. So hopefully that helps you, Justin. If you have any other questions, but just let me know, I'll answer them for you. Uh, you did also have a question too about the um, the Olin's uh, suspension. Yes, this particular suspension does uh, adjust automatically. And it may seem like when you were sitting on the bike, he told me that he was he felt a little higher up on the bike. This is gonna sit a little higher uh, than your regular R1s where you can adjust them and lower them a little bit. Uh, but you can lower the bike if you needed to. You just are gonna have to take your adjustment tools, which is right back here and you can lower that spring, which will bring the backside down. Uh, Justin did tell me that he's 5'8", and um, when he sat on the bike, it felt a little tall for him, but I told him, hey, it's gonna feel tall until you make the adjustments, but the suspension itself, from a comfort standpoint, 
it's gonna adjust itself uh, to your weight and also to the road as it dictates and as it picks up on the sensors what you're riding over chatter and stuff like that and this bike is minimal and it's a very comfortable bike to ride um, it's one of those ones where i actually enjoy riding my r1m a lot more than my regular r1 i can last a lot longer on this bike than on the other bike so my track track bike the blue one that you guys see in the garage here all the time this one this bike right here is uh this one is very uncomfortable but it's not meant to be comfortable it's meant to be fast so that that bike has been lowered and everything too so justin hopefully like i said this has been helpful for you my friend again i would not hesitate purchasing this mine is a 2023 r1m it's got all the latest goodies on it and it just looks amazing we have bike week out here where i live at the beach and you know i've already been out riding and people just come up to me like dude that bike is just so flipping beautiful and um and handsome and whatever else i want to say about it but uh tons of carbon man you can't go wrong but anyway buddy i love you uh guys again thank you so much for the support it's been pretty humbling as to how fast the channel has grown and uh, i've got the uh the s1000rr coming in too here in about a week and a half so just got another update from them it's almost here on u.s soil and we're going to do a huge uh, video for the uncrating and everything for that bike as well and i can do a comparison obviously with these bikes all the panigales everything too uh the kawasaki zx10r uh, there's so many great bikes in the stable right now. Anyway, guys, I love you. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments and I will do my best to make videos for you guys according to the questions you have. But Justin, this bike does not overheat, bud, because of the way that it's flashed. So your ECU flash is gonna be the most critical thing to getting those temps on the uh, fan temps lowered. That way you're not dealing with any of that stuff um, in the future. All right, brother, hopefully that helps you. Uh, and I hope you have a great day. Cheers, guys, love you all, peace.